<laughs> it's, it's obviously quite difficult to do this, and sometimes we as directors don't even want to do this because it takes away from so many great things. Um, <laughs> We have characters, and their character in life comes out in the music, thank goodness. So for the ensembles, uh, that that was probably a way more intense discussion than we thought we'd have coming in. There were, there were three of them for us that were absolutely fantastic. Uh, we are going to award the top ensemble tonight to the flute quintet. Wow. said, yep, that's the winner in, in any situation, so congratulations to all the ensembles. That was, that was tremendous across the board. For the solos, uh, our, our, our task tonight is to take the group from 10 to 4, and the four that move on from here get to compete in the Dan Stover music competition, which they start getting paychecks for playing, so that's kind of cool. Uh, from that point, um, if, if they are selected, what happens with the Dan Stover music, that's uh, run by the Rotary Club and they invite the four winners of tonight to come play at the Rotary Club in the morning in March, and then the parents are invited as well. They feed you, and um, you get to, the students get to play. They get a nice, small uh, financial contribution, and the winner of that gets a larger contribution and goes on to the next level, and if they proceed on, there's like a $5,000 prize at the end of the road. So, uh, We'd like to bring out the four finalists that we have chosen to move forward in this competition. Congratulations to Andrew Hines. Charlotte Wickert. concert tonight across the board. Uh, you did not make this easy at all for us. There were several... Uh, we would just like to, to honor these, the, the three in front of you, plus Priscilla who's not here, and the winner tonight for us is Charlotte Wicker. may sound like a repeat, Charlotte did also win the solo and ensemble last year as well, the flute win the quintet last year. Next year it's uh, wide open because Charlotte's going to MIT, so uh, we'll lose her uh, in the program unless things go horribly wrong the rest of her time in Palo, and I don't think they'll ever be in band anyway. So, uh, Thank you to everybody again, and congratulations all, and thank you to uh, Summerlin Library for hosting this and providing this wonderful facility for us and taking care of the, all, all the legwork for it. It's nice.